That's why we can't sleep in. <sighs> You're such a weirdo. I know. Hang on. Let's put my glasses on. Okay. Day seven. A week ago today he had surgery. So far so good. I had a dream last night, though, that he got set free and blew his other one. So, yeah, that better not happen. <laughs> anyway, somebody wants to go out. So, we're going to go do that. And then start our morning. Nothing much has happened today. So, I figured I'd just give you a midday update. That's what's happened. Yawning and sleeping. We just came in from outside, but he doesn't bother anything. He hasn't gone at his stitches at all. I had to yell at him once this morning, and apparently once while I was out running errands. So not too bad. He's listening pretty good. Yeah. Every, t every time a visitor comes. And no, we're not hurting him. That's just how he sounds when he's excited. You're taking this not moving thing a little ridiculous, Fergus. <laughs> I missed it on video. He was putting some weight on his leg and scratching around and pulled up all my covers, but made himself home at the foot of the bed. So he's feeling a lot better. He slept almost the entire day today. So we are at the end of day seven. It's about 10 p.m. right now. Um, yeah, not too bad. Don't mind the random stuff everywhere. So I just wanted to give you kind of an update a little bit. Um, he's day seven, absolutely messing with his stitches more, 100%. Um, one of us is yelling at him pretty much all day to leave them alone. When he's not asleep, he's trying to lick them. Not too bad. We're not worried about him causing any issues because we're on top of it. But other than that, um, everything's been good. He slept a lot today. Um, in and out fine, putting a little bit more weight on it. Really excited about the results, so we'll see what tomorrow brings. Good morning. Whew, we got a decent frost last night. Ooh, it's cold. The vet said to get him to use his leg more, walk slow. So I went and picked up this harness. It's nice because I slip all of his legs through it, or rather it goes around him. I'll show you how it hooks up in a minute um, when we get inside, but it allows me a lot more control with him to slow him down. Otherwise he is a puller. And he will just go, 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 go. And in order for him to use the leg and build up some muscle and not blow out his other leg, we have to go slow. All right, so I'm cold. We are going to get inside and go through morning routine. Okay, while he's crunching away at breakfast, I'm going to pop in here and show you how the harness comes off because then you'll understand how it goes on. So the last couple harnesses I've had for him... You had to, he had to step into. So that for him would require putting weight on his back legs and I didn't want that. So when I was looking online, this one kind of goes together like luggage or any other kind of clasp thing, which is neat. So I have it really loose because of what's going on. But you just flip it up and it comes right out of the buckle. So it goes in. 
so he doesn't have to pick up his front feet at all. Literally just slides out. Bing. You pick it up. Trying to do this one handed is a little bit difficult and him moving, but you pick it up, slides right out. So the part that he hates is over his head. He's always hated that. It's fine. We just kind of rip it off like a band-aid, huh, body? Ready? Fergus, wait two seconds. We're not even focused. Hang on. Fergus. All right. We're going to get it off his head. Morning. Still in my pajamas. It's really cold. But I got this box yesterday. I ordered something for Fergus. He already has one, but it's kind of old. And honestly, it smells like dog. And we're going camping in a couple of weeks. So I wanted to make sure he had a new one. So I hope this is what I hope it is. remember to get something to open the box with. <laughs> so you sort of saw what I had a minute work the other day was the playpen thing. got the large so I hope this is the right size otherwise I'll have to send it back and get the extra large because this does not seem big enough. Well, I'm going to get the kettle turned off. It actually, it's not big enough. Well, maybe. It's pretty good size. Not sure. He's currently laying in the bed I would need to test it with. We'll go grab it and see, but. Don't mind my laundry. Let me go see if I can steal his bed from him for a minute. Probably not, he's super comfy, but we'll see. Hey, bud bud. How are you? Oh, buddy buddy, you're in your nice bed. In the cage. Can I have your bum side? Time to flip the corgi. Flipping a corgi. Easier said than done. But done. <laughs> I'm gonna let that sit for a few minutes and I'll be back. So I stand up to get my tea. And this little bugger rolls over. But he rolled over onto the hot pack. So I'm gonna leave him alone for about five minutes or so. Oh, I know someone's feeling better. He won't move away from the door and he wants to go with me whenever I leave. So we're going to put the collar on. Good stretch, buddy. Good job. We're going to put the collar on. I'm going to head out. I'm going to go to the farmer's market and run some errands with my mom and go see a movie. And be back in a few hours. So Farmer's Market Hall, five dozen ears of corn. We got a half a bushel of peppers. We're gonna, and some random sundry, some squash, and a, well, a couple weird squashes. But we're gonna be busy this weekend. Little bugger. This little bugger. This little bugger right there. 
Yeah. So, I got his donut off of him so we could go outside when I got back from my errands in the movie. And he just took off right out the door between my legs. So, we're moving better. He's very excited. And now we're back in our crate and we're not happy. <laughs> so here we are, end of day eight. Back in my pajamas, back on the floor. Rearranged it a little bit, see if he does any better. He moved around a lot, took the stitches. Um, anyway, so far so good. Moving into day nine. Night, everybody. Freddy says good night. Florida, he's way over there. <laughs> night, everybody. See you on day nine.